the History Channel. It's awarded only for the most extraordinary acts of courage and bravery in war. Australia's Sir Roden Cutler is one of its few recipients. A BC to me was something which was well beyond the reach of most men. In the last days of World War II, one of Hitler's most faithful henchmen had secretly offered peace to the Allies. Many thought that Heinrich Himmler was the least suitable man for a separate peace settlement. To Hitler, it was the most shameful betrayal in history. These great monuments of ancient Egypt stand as testament to the skill of their builders. It's really been done to a precision that would challenge modern builders today. But how were they constructed? Pull back the covers on the world's oldest profession. To some it serves a legitimate purpose, to others it's wicked and immoral. Prostitution is like a sewer in a palace. If you remove it, your whole palace will be filled with shit. The Battle for Crete saw the first large-scale paratroop invasion. I tell you, one of them was caught in the tree and he looked at me and I said, I'm sorry, bang. It was a victory for the Germans, but Hitler ordered that paratroopers never be used again. Why? This May, the past comes alive on the History Channel. You know, it's understandable that when people watch the readings on the show, or even get a reading themselves, they usually focus on the connections I'm making with the other side. It's like, like the lights come down. But one of the things I try to stress about this process is that its bigger message is about appreciating and focusing on the connections we still have with loved ones in the physical world. I feel like there's like a conflict issue of not being wanted, you know what I'm saying? And mom is also rough. Some people give compliments by insulting. See a cop too? His dad has also passed. When you're with somebody a long time, and then you lose them, you're lost. But there's something about one being connected to you. Somebody's got the name Pete. I also feel like mom's there too. Is he husband number one? Razor sharp words. But your dad's also passed, correct? Yes. He's had to work very hard at making his, his transition. Crossing over with John Edward, weekdays at noon and weeknights at 11.30 on Arena.